Hi everyone, it's Wednesday, July 15th. My name is Scott and this is Relevantly Speaking. Hi everyone, welcome to this week's show. As we shoot this episode, I gotta tell you, it's already pretty hot in our non-air conditioned studio, even at 9 a.m. So that said, I've gotta nail this in very few takes or we could be in some trouble, like heat stroke trouble. So let's do this, I guess. If you're a regular viewer of Relevantly Speaking, you know that I talk with my hands. It's the way I am, I way I'm wired, I can't help it. However, two weeks ago, I got some feedback from one of our affiliates that I need to stop doing that. So last week I recorded the show with my hands in my pockets to see how it felt. It didn't feel right. Then wouldn't you know it, I'm hanging out on Jim Cattrall's website and I find this clip that Jim recorded about the late, great Billy Mays. Uh, the, the third thing that I, that I think was really most impressive about Billy was he taught me the, the use of your hands. If you watch Billy in his videos, you'll actually see how he uses his hands. He called it uh, ballying the tip, I believe. And when he was on the Atlantic City boardwalk, he would have to bring crowds in, so he'd reach his hands out and he'd tell you, come on in, right? And then he'd have his thumbs pointed up, he would point to things, he'd point to himself, he'd point to the product, and he'd bring you into the conversation, he'd get you enthused. See? The hands bring you into the conversation. If it's good enough for Billy and Jim, it's good enough for me. The hands are back. Moving on for the next couple of weeks, we'll be working with Affiliate Benchmark a third-party research firm that gathers valuable data from affiliates like you. They analyze the trends and produce industry research papers. Now, by completing their survey, you can get a copy of the report and use it to help grow your business. You can head on over to blog.mediatrust.com to get started. But hurry, the survey expires on July 31st. Now, in our industry, we talk a lot about volume. How do we bring in higher numbers of leads and increase sales for our merchants? But is more always better? Let's check in with Steve Hartman from eBay's partner program as he talks about quantity versus quality. For, for us, we've had an interesting experience this past year with um, moving from a uh, quantity-based compensation model to a quality-based compensation model and to the point of, you know, if you really, if, you know, if, if people are, are driving the type of, uh, of transactions and the type of behavior you're looking for on your, uh, in your network and as a merchant, then, you know, you want to compensate them appropriately for that. And what we found was that, you know, we were compensating before for our, our cost per lead for part of our program. Uh, we're compensating on a volume based and volume of leads was not necessarily correlated to the lifetime value of the leads who are, com who are coming in. Um, so we shifted this to a, uh, a um, quality based model where we said we're, we work and predict the lifetime value of the leads who come in. We can do that on a, on a pretty darn reliable basis actually. And uh, you know, we pay people appropriately for those. So um, a number of the, the smaller affiliates who otherwise wouldn't be compensated for these, and it goes back to Rebecca's point on the um, you know, paying people appropriately up front, you know, we're paying them more for the leads that they're, that they're sending to us where they don't have volume, otherwise they wouldn't be incented to send more of those because they're, they're always going to get to a lower revenue tier until they finally get up to a, um, you know, a, a higher level that they might not be able to attain. But give them more incentive to do more on our behalf and, and more of the, the type of marketing that we're looking for and the type of you know, tr transactions and leads that we're looking for. So um, that's one of the ways that we're trying, we're trying to do this and I think this um, to the trust part again. Uh, from that from that standpoint, we need to again to provide as much information as we can to our affiliates so that, that they trust that they're getting compensated correctly for the activity that they're driving. That clip was part of Media Trust CEO Peter Bordas's keynote presentation at affiliate convention in Denver. You can view that presentation in its entirety over at blog.mediatrust.com. Now, finally, today we want to let you know about our presence at Affiliate Summit East. We'll be at table 33 at the Meat Market on Sunday, August 9th. We hope you'll stop in and say hello, and we'll also be on hand shooting content for Relevantly Speaking. So if you'll be in New York, make sure you get in touch with us at sparent at mediatrust.com, and we'll set up a time to shoot an interview. That's our show for this week. My name is Scott, and I hope to see you next week.